Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on uh, EFT automation. Uh, in this video, we will do a basic a descriptive programming uh, using uh, a Windows based application. Of course, it's going to be our sample application. Um, but before I do that basic uh, recording, we will uh, look at uh, the basic, you know, before we do the descriptive programming, we'll do the regular basic recording and use object repository first and then jump into that just to make sure that we we understand things properly so i'm going to have this application ready all i'm going to do is record the login process action one record so i'm going to enter the credentials I was able to log in. I'm going to stop the recording. Make tab is really not required. I'm going to go delete that. Uh, of course, there is no start here. I'll make quick changes to the run here. Let's see, start. So it's going to start the application. Use it. Okay, let me go ahead and run it. Okay, it was able to run. So let me do one more quick thing. I want to close this application as well as a part of the script. Go here and do close. Stop recording. I can do that or I can also do this. So that window I'm closing it using this. So let me go ahead and run this real quick and then we will take it to the next level so it was able to log in and close now we know that here we are using the local object repository so once it when it comes to the script it really doesn't matter if the object is coming from a local object repository or if it is coming from a shared object repository it really doesn't care Right, as long as it gets its object it needs, it's good. So let's assume that we have an object repository here. Let's say you know all these steps are gone, right? And this is the next step where you would create steps without recording using object repository. And that is actually simple. Keep your object repository open. First is we need to open, go to the login screen. After that, you need to enter user ID then you enter password then you enter or click the OK button after that you are on this screen which you want to close first is it says you know activate uh, we, that's okay we can leave it there for user ID we need, we're going to pass it as test for password is uh, mercury and then we're going to click on that and then you know we are we don't need to activate it will wait there or you know, we can leave it that way and make another copy and do close and when you create steps this way you know there would be no image associated to it I mean here I mean, all I did was drag and drop whatever I want and then you know, kind of created a script let us see if this works. I mean, it should work, but let's let's check that. No, yeah, it worked, right? So now we'll now take it to another level. What we will do is we will delete it, delete all these steps, and go to object repository, and uh, you know, delete this as well you know what we can leave this here for reference again 
comment all this and delete everything from here so no object repositories uh, within the test so now let us go ahead and start our application you want that here so there's nothing in the object repository let's go ahead and close it keep this here and we definitely want our objects by and we'll keep that here now let's start working first is we'll you know we need to start the application that could be uh, you know you can either do you know use the default uh, behavior that we just did not default but you know we were using this let's copy that and take it out because in real time we will never use this option to start application so we'll use uh, system util dot run so so they are going to start application that way and is next is once we start we need to work with this window let's we need let's first try to find this window and activate it uh, so what is that we do we need to work with this window that it's a dialog box and it's login so let's say we don't even know what the you know if it's a dialog box or not then how do we do that so that's where this comes real handy object spy so here point this and print on this uh, screen now what do you have it says the object class is dialog and if you scroll down you know you don't have to worry about this copy that whole thing close it paste it there okay now here we know the class is dialog we know that uh, we just saw it and then uh, let's scroll down because it is, the text is login so that's good enough for now to recognize this uh, object so primarily we will recognize this object using these properties so it is a dialog box so it's a dialog box and uh, and what is the uh, you know property that you would use to identify the object and that is this just copy it and paste it there dot okay there's a syntax issue dot activate now class name dialog is this here and I took the property and put it here that's that's only that's exactly what I did and again the um, the descriptive programming as I said before in the last video it's always the property name colon equal to and the property name uh, sorry the property value property name colon equal to property value and now I want to pass the pa sorry user ID into the agent name uh, text box here so now again I can do the same thing uh, what I'll do is uh, object spy and then click here and click on the the login box so this is how you 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 know could write it number one to get to this win edit dialog box which is win edit not dialog you know edit box first is you need to work with the dialog box that means you need to get to the dialog box and then go into the object which is child object there go there and then work with it so in order to even get there you know I'll just you know copy that whole thing paste it here these are the properties of this box there so how do you get there you should always start with parent which is that dialog box dot what is the class now this we need it copy that send it there and what is that you which 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 uh, edit box on that dialog box now we have to identify a unique name that works and helps you to identify that specific text box so if you scroll down most of them are true and false or some value but agent name here there's attached text so I can delete all this I don't need that so I can just copy this thing here and paste it there again it's nothing but that's a property name property value win edit dot 
what is that we want to set a value set one text done I'm going to delete all that uh, you know as you can see here it follows the same pattern as this see here it says the dialog login dot active instead of saying login it says text colon equal to login this is how it's identifying the object now let us uh, see this you know now with these three lines it should start the flight simulator activate or make make it uh, you know bring it to the foreground make it active and then send text there that's about it let's go ahead and run it again let me go into the object repository there's nothing there and I'm not loading object repositories at the runtime as well. So it was, you know, able to send there. So it worked. So let us log in and then, I mean, send the password and click the login button. Now, same thing, you know, there's no way I can tell, you know, what could be the attached text for this password field. I have, there's no way. I mean, there's no way I can guess it. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, object spy again. And you know, before I do that, I'm going to do this. Now, this is going to be the same thing, except that I need to, you know, uh, send it to a different text box, and I need to send a different text there. I'll do that, and now I'll uh, click on the object spy again. Click here. Click on the password field, and I have properties. I mean, you know, you can just copy it, paste it there. If you want, or you can scroll down here, try to find you know appropriate uh, value. I mean, when you find here, let's say for example, you know, we found that you know there's attached text, password colon, right? You can, you know, you already did this here. All you have to do is password colon there. But you know, this is easy, but to kind of, you know, when you work with web, you know, you know, it's it's, you know, it's there might be you know you might run into some typos. You might enter you know enter it incorrectly. So for that reason, solo reason, I normally prefer to do it this way. That way there is, you know, no errors whatsoever. So because I'm directly getting from there. So now this is taken care. Now I need to work with what? I need to work with this button. But I don't know if it's really a button or I don't know what the class or anything, right? So let me do the same thing now. I need to, I mean, get to Object Spy. I should have not closed it do this click on that OK button so it's a win button that's a class so I'm gonna copy that whole thing paste it here now same thing you know first it's always the dialog box that's the starting point and then we know the class is here win button and then what is the property that's helping you to find that object which is OK button scroll down and there is uh, this okay here and if there is the other one attach text there's the text here so we can take this property dot click and now we can delete all this you don't need it that so now if I run the script so it should log in now you know there is no objects in the object repository I'm not loading object repository at all nothing we are using descriptive programming to perform our testing so this would be our you know descriptive programming steps to log in you know without using object repositories by the way the way we are doing it here this is referred to as static descriptive programming because uh, when you look at uh, dynamic descriptive programming you'll definitely understand I mean the difference here because here we are specifying we are not creating any objects we are using object properties to identify uh, you know things on the object so that you know this is for basic login now we can do the exact same thing here as well let's say you want to you know send date fly and all that now the next step is now i don't know what this flight reservation is i mean i know that it is a window but you know let's let's look through using you know using our object spy it says classes window and uh, 
Okay, well, that is window. We need to activate that first. So now the class is window. And now what is the text? It could be a flight reservation, but let, let's make sure. Click on that. You got a window. Copy that to clipboard. Paste it there. Scroll up. There are quite a bit of properties. Scroll down. Okay, there is a Ray expression bin title. There's also a text here, so I can take that, paste it there, or oh, activate. So that would make sure that we are working with that window or it's activated. Now let's we need to pass the date. So that's there. So it's active X, window flight resolution active X and so we need to send the text to that. So the the text there. Let's put some text in here to 14 and then now do the object spy. Click on it. Then we know that it's going to text and that's a format. So what we'll do is copy that whole thing, close it there, and we, you know, of course our date is on the window, so dot. And what's the class? The class name is ActiveX. And how would you act, uh, uh, identify that ActiveX? Um, where is the value here? Class name ActiveX. Enable to okay. ACT name is equal to this mass. So we'll use this property. Dot. Say. There's no set to property, no set. Uh, what else we have? Let's take a look at it real quick. Mouse, visible, type. Okay, type. And we will pass this string there. Okay, let's see if this works. You know, we just added one extra step here. Stop it, close this, run. So you're able to log in, it was able to send the text. So that is how you would use uh, Object Spy with your application to identify the objects and you know uh, do the uh, descriptive program. Again, this is a static descriptive programming. Uh, in the next video, I will uh, show you how you can use dynamic descriptive programming to, you know, write your test, uh, you know, tests. Okay. Okay, then. Well, I'll uh, see you in the next video.